Hi, welcome back. We're talking about web URLs and web hosting, and I was telling you guys that we're going to be doing the screen stuff. So you're looking at my screen right now. You're looking at the homepage from MediaTemple.net. Andrew and I were talking about um, showing you guys web hosting stuff, and I said, yeah, I'm going to show them my Fat Cow account. And she's like, don't do that, because we've been so frustrated with Fat Cow. Why would I help you guys set up something that I'm really frustrated with? And yeah, it's cheaper to go with a company like Fat Cow or DreamHost or HostGator or um, uh, GoDaddy. It is. You can pay $70 a year pretty much and have a hosting account. But the problem is um, that I have found uh, things have happened in the last year that their customer service isn't um, as well staffed. So you might wait for 45 minutes before talking to someone on the phone. Um, and their shared server setup, um, which means that like up to 2,000 people could be using the same computer server to host their websites, results in slower times accessing websites that are on Fat Cow accounts and servers. Okay, so my brother in law has used Media Temple for many years, and their website looks amazing. Um, and I've connected with them and their customer service is top notch and you'll wait between five and ten minutes at max to talk to someone so uh yeah i'm going to show you guys how to set up an account with media temple because it's just going to save you uh, a huge amount of time and energy it costs more i think it's worth it twenty dollars for web hosting a month um is the grid plan that we're going to be focusing on here. And on that page, um, remember how I was talking a minute ago, if you're getting a thousand hits a month, and then I was talking a little bit about managed servers and getting a dedicated server. Um, that's kind of what they have here at VPS hosting and managed hosting. I mean, look, $349 a month. Holy cow. <laughs> I mean, basically, I'm looking at that managed hosting means uh, fully managed by our team and of in-house engineers. It means you don't have to learn how to do any of that Cody type stuff, setting up the software that hosts your website. They take care of all that for you. That's why it's $349 a month. And it's really fast, right? So, I mean, 1,000 hits a month, you know, you want your stuff singing and going really great. VPS hosting, uh, I'm just looking at this. Be business e-commerce, easy to use. See how low it is and easy to use? That's probably because you've got to learn how to manage that stuff on your own. Room to grow really high because you can get really fast web. Um, uh, your pages will load really fast, and also you can probably store a lot of video and you know high volume storage stuff. Anyways, like I said, we're going to focus on the web hosting plan. This this intro level here at twenty dollars a month, which is an upgrade from something like Fat Cow. I mean, you know, twenty dollars a month times twelve months a year, a little bit more than seventy dollars a year. Okay, creative blogs and businesses thrive. All right, let's get started. Let's just see what happens. I've actually never done this before. We're kind of learning this together. Um, I want to register this domain. Um, I want I own this domain name any type. Uh, I just want to do a new one. I want to register this domain, and I want to call it, um, why not, study test group. I want to register this domain. Okay, I changed it to Website Zen Rocket. I don't know, I like it more. Use this domain. Let's check it out. Enable domain privacy? Nope. WebsiteZenRocket.com is available. $32. Continue order. First name, Joseph Valley. Joe Valley. Email, Joseph.Valley at gmail.com. 720-539, let me do this, bam, United States, let's do 2705, now you guys know where to send thank you cards and love letters and flowers, apartment four, how did you hear about us, a friend, I don't see brother-in-law on here, hmm, Okay. 
Here we go. From whom? Type your message here. I have heard you guys really rock. Plus, I've called you and you're amazing. Smiley face. Bam. Okay. So I wonder if I can pay with well, I guess I've got to put in my card number here on on air. I'll just pause it while I do this, and I'll come right back after I put it in. Okay, helps if you get your address correct. My order is scheduled for processing. Please allow up to 30 minutes to complete this request. You receive an email with more details. So I'll just check back with you guys in 30 minutes. Here's what happened next. Thanks for your order. Congrats and welcome to Media Temple. Our engineers are setting up your new service now. Very soon you'll receive an activation email with all the info you need to start using it right away. Fantastic. I'll check back in. We're back. We're looking at the email from Media Temple. Uh, check it out. Account details. Account owner. That's me. Number. Primary domain. Website Zen Rocket. Primary email. Great. So I'm looking at these account details. I'm going to select them all, and I'm going to Command C on a Mac, which is uh, copy, or you can right click also and press copy. And I'm going to go to a place called Evernote. If you haven't created an account yet, sign up, and it's a place for you to store your passwords and information. Just create a new document that says My Passwords, and then Media Temple, and then paste in these account details. We're going to create a password here uh, and work through that. Enter new password. Great. Perfect. All right. I'm going to pause it here and update my password. Updated my password in Evernote. We strongly recommend using a complex password. There we go. It's been successfully updated. Please log in at the main login page. So primary domain, website Zen Rocket, Joseph. And now I'm going to put in my password. Super duper. Check it out, everyone. The back end of Media Temple. Exciting. Cloud tech, extended care, and premium technical support from the Media Temple team you trust. Okay, I'm not going to order that now. Check it out. Okay, so no recent requests. This is probably a place where you can just send a new request. I hear they get back pretty quickly. Okay, so I want to manage this domain. This is a listing of all the domains associated with your account. So I'm assuming, like, if you buy a whole bunch of domains, they'll all show up here. Um, click the d domain name to bring up the controls for that domain, or click the IP address to preview the site in a browser. So if we pre... Oh, cool. IP access. Oh, so if I click on that, it probably shows me the website. Oh, look, we could start a chat with them. How cool. You've reached the future home. <laughs> okay, nothing there, obviously. I'm going to click on this, see what happens. I just clicked on my website URL. Oh, grid service control panel. Great. Domain tools. Awesome. So this is our control panel. Server guide. The first one, find your mail server system pass database and FTP information. We're going to click on that because right here we've got email set up under, under the overview. So incoming mail port number, how do I set up my email, helpful links, add an email user. Um, I think, let's try it. I think we we're here, use this, to, uh, use this control to add new users. Let's try this, see what happens. This is exactly right. So Joe, we're going to use Joe at websitezenrocket.com. Perfect. A description, of, uh, a way for you to identify this account. Um, website Zen Rocket. Okay, so here's my password area. Great. Um, send to an outside address. Okay, email this user, notify them of their new account. I'm going to use my 
usual email. Personal message. Pretty much you are next to amazing. OK, so choose which settings will be used to determine if mail is considered spam. I'm just going to use global site settings. Sub FTP configuration options for FTP access. These do not apply. I don't even know what that means. Grant FTP access. No, I don't care. Uh, SSH settings. No. Auto reply. No. OK, I think we did it. Save. I'm also going to update. I'm going to press pause and update in my password section here. Great, I just updated my password. User edit successfully. Creation letter sent. I bet if I went to my email, I would find instructions for new email account. Dear Joe at websitezenrocket.com. Pretty much, you are next to amazing. <laughs> Username, password, you can access your email through our simple webmail interface here. Hopefully, we'll never have to use the website. Um, we'll never have to access it because we sent all the information to joseph.valley.gmail.com, remember? I think using these kinds of um, website ZenRocket webmail tools are a pain in the butt. I just stick with Gmail all day long. It saves all my stuff. It has a huge amount of space for me to load it full of stuff and uh, it's very secure. I find that mm, website like hosting email accounts aren't as great as Google. So great, I'm gonna go back over to show all domains. I'm gonna click on website Zen Rocket. I'm gonna click on server guide and I'm just gonna look. I wanna set up my database for WordPress. So I'm going to press pause, figure out how to do that, and come right back. Okay, I found out here on my server guide overview to help you remember where we are. We're in server guide, and I'm going to scroll down to database, initial setup. I'm going to create a password for my database because it says you have not yet set up your database user, you'll need to do this before installing any one clicks or adding any database. A one click, I think that's what where we're going to find the WordPress install. So I'm going to create my password here. Okay, before I create, I'm going to go ahead and save this. I'm going to press pause. I'll see you in a minute. Got it. Create database user. Look, there's my username. OK, perfect. Specify your database name. Interesting. I wonder if we can just call it um, My Media Temple. That's kind of boring. That's kind of boring. Um, uh, next to amazing. I got to spell it right. Amazing. Next to amazing. Great. Next. I wonder why add all newly databases will include. OK. Look, here's MySQL, admin, manage. Great. Awesome. Super. All right, so we're all set up here with our web hosting and our URLs. We have one last thing to do with our control panel in the web hosting account at Media Temple before we get going with our website construction, and that's to install WordPress. And we're going to do that next week when we um, uh, tackle our next uh, lot of uh, videos and tutorials and things to get going on. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, post them to the group. Uh, happy to answer any questions you have about setting up your URL and your web hosting account. Um, all right, guys. See you next time.